Separately, Amos and Senior are amazing individuals, but I know together they're going to be unstoppable. Dear Amos, I can't believe the day has finally come that I get to marry my Prince Charming. Ever since I was a little girl, I imagined my wedding day and the man that I would be standing next to, and you're everything and more. I am so happy to get to spend the rest of my life by your side as your wife. Through the years, I've been able to see you grow as a caring, loving man. You touch the hearts of everyone you meet, and they are all better for knowing you. I am so grateful that God put you in my life as my partner, and I know that we will trust in God with our marriage and look to Him when we need a reminder of unconditional love. You're truly my best friend and the person that I turn to for everything. Not only have you always been supportive, nurturing partner for me, but you've also treated my family as your own family, and my friends immediately became your friends. I'm so excited about starting our own little family. People keep asking me if I'm nervous, but I'm not at all, because I know the man that you are, and I know how much you love me. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Happy wedding day, babe. I love you so much. Dear Sanira, no words can express how my life has been changed because of you. All those years ago when we first met, I never would have believed that we would have gone through our most formative adult years together. Actually, I can't. Remember how I told you that I would never date anyone that I couldn't see myself spending the rest of my life with? Well, looks like I picked the right one. We've lived right next to each other, and we've lived across the state. But no matter how close or far you are, you've always put me first. I love you, Sanir. Nothing has made me happier than the times that we are together. It makes me excited that I get to spend the rest of my life together. That we continue to grow closer to each other, cleaving to each other. That we get to spend eternal life with each other. I can only wonder what more we have to offer each other and what life has to bring us. Sanir, you're the apple of my eye, my pot of gold. You're the sun among the stars, my box of chocolates. You're my breath of life, my other half. You're my Cinderella and all those other cheesy things that you love to hear. I can't think of anyone else that I'd rather do life with. More so than that, it's that I get to do life with you. On behalf of Sunira and Amos and their families, I'd like to warmly welcome you to this joyous occasion. We began our celebration this morning with a beautiful and meaningful Indian wedding ceremony. We now continue our celebration with this Christian wedding ceremony. Amos and Sunira, inasmuch as you have exchanged vows and rings before God and these gathered witnesses, by the virtue of the authority entrusted to me as a minister of Christ's church and in agreement with the laws of the state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let not man separate. Amos, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, I introduce to you Dr. and Mrs. Amos Sitz. 